Hey, um, welcome back. Um, so, I just wanted to clarify a couple things. Um, so, I've got to give my thoughts on, A, the quicker play update on, on Overwatch, and B, more or less, like, what that means for me as a person, like, what I've been playing otherwise, because I have been playing Overwatch. So, um, for some reason what was it this weekend only they instead of doing a separate game mode for overwatch they decided what they were going to do was they were going to just drop it into regular quick play but it was quick play hacked and so what wound up happening is is they increased the speed of capture points by almost more than half on everything um so now you might be asking, what does this mean for the average player? Um, a, I wasn't able to practice to do any comp matches um, at all, so it was either aim training and comp matches, and then you know the whole day has been taken seriously because I'm not able to play open queue or quick play, you know, something just real casual, real easy to pick up. But no, um, the reason why I don't like the new game mode in particular is like. What winds up happening in every single one of my matches, or at least in, like, majority of the matches that I played, was I would lose one fight, right, because I wasn't picking my main. I'd lose one fight, and then would instantaneously lose that match. And I don't want to say instantly, because, like, obviously it wasn't instant, but, like, bro, you basically didn't barely have time to contest, and if you did, your team never, like, was, like, with it, so, like, what well, basically winds up, <coughs> sorry, basically what winds up happening is you just, everything is quicker, games last, like, a minute and a half, shit doesn't feel fun, I can't play the characters I want to play without having to play the main, like, try-hard characters. And it was just like, man, like, why, why would you guys not do this on, like, an experimental? And they say the experimental card doesn't give them the data they need. And it's like, bro, I don't fucking care. I don't want to, like, be forced to play Overwatch your way for two days. Like, I'm just trying to get on and play Overwatch. Like, if you want to have quicker play as, like, a side mode, go ahead. Do that. For the people who want it, that's great. But forcing everyone is crazy. I don't know. And then, especially with, like, all of the mo more recent patch notes, it just, it's, I don't know, it's something special. So I haven't really been playing a whole lot of, um, a whole lot of Overwatch as of recent. Like, I just, A, don't find it fun when I have to play quicker play, and then B, just it's hard because i'm struggling right now to play the characters that i want to play for certain videos because they're not particularly in the fondest of the meta like especially with quicker play like tracer was such a fucking problem for me as a uh, for me as a hanzo and genji player like genji wasn't so bad like genji's i i got way more clips of genji than i did with hanzo but playing hanzo with like people like tracer and samba running around it's like damn near impossible and like if you even get a kill on them they just spawn back in two seconds so it doesn't matter so hanzo's value is like a teammate just kind of doesn't matter because he just i don't know he just doesn't have what he needs like yeah he has sonic arrow and his other arrows but like in terms of like if he's fighting multiple people at one time he kind of just gets like folded but you have to be like cracked as shit in order to get his get any of his value which i'm not the best because i've fallen out of like playing hanzo but like i don't know it's tough especially when you have characters like sojourn that don't even need buff that get buffed for some reason meanwhile people like hanzo just they suffer which i'm assuming it's going to be a percentage based like a percentage base is what they're like judging it off of but on to the next subject i wanted to talk about in that's the next like patch notes what what next season's gonna look like so from what i understand that 
we have a problem with the support passive, right? And what would you think my solution to the support passive is a problem? So maybe we should get, you know, we got to fix it. So what are we going to do? We're going to give it to everybody. And that's, I guess, where the Overwatch developers went. So they went ahead and were going to give a nerfed down support buff to both the tanks and the damage heroes. And I think, honestly, if it was, like, all characters, like Soldier 76 and, like, Hanzo, this wouldn't be bad. But there are players like Tracer and Sombra <clears throat> and Widowmaker and Genji who don't have to, like, be with their team at all. Or, like, people like Doomfist and, like, Roadhog. You, you're giving Roadhog a passive buff. Like, a passive healing. You're giving Doomfist passive healing. You're giving fucking Genji passive healing. Tracer. Like, all these characters that have such high mobility... And you're giving them healing on top of that. And it's only like... I'm assuming it's going to be like a 5 to like five to 4 second, you know, engagement time in order to get the, like, stuff down. But... In terms of, like... I don't know. I just think the whole idea is, of it's stupid and... I think giving everyone the support passive is wild to me, because A, it's not going to support team play, and then B, there's certain characters that I feel like are going to be harder to balance now because of it. <clears throat> like, if the support passive is strong, Doomfist is about to become even stronger because he's able to, like... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. He's able to just, you know, dominate the game. And he's able to do so much in so little time. And it's... I don't know. It's it's not what I want for Overwatch. I like the competitive changes that are coming. Those I'm really excited for. Um, I really hope everything will pan out how it looks like it's going to. But I'm not sure yet, obviously. So everything will... We'll see. But as of right now, uh, oh, all Overwatch content, um, there are any, like, Overwatch videos is definitely going to be on halt. At least till I can go ahead and, you know, start playing regular quick play, which I might be able to maybe later today or, like, maybe later this week, but I don't know. This weekend was kind of ruined, more or less, by the Overwatch developers. And so, I mean, it is what it is. We we take it with what it is, but as of right now, I've been playing a shit ton of GTA. Um, I don't know if you guys would like to see that kind of content. Um, obviously, if you do, um, let me know. Because they really have been enjoying GTA. Um, I recently discovered they had the salvage yard. Um, what was it, two months ago at this point? And it's not like super bad, but like, I don't know, Salvage Yard is kind of weird. I think it's weird that we only can, we can do like three robberies, and then we just have to wait an entire week for the robberies to reset. I think that's kind of dumb. But I mean, also they do make you like two to three hundred thousand each time, but at the same time, for like 15 minutes of your time, you could set up a Kayo. And then it's like... And then, if you wanted to do, like, a half an hour, you could do the Casino Heist, which, the Casino Heist is a fucking cakewalk. <clears throat> you know why it's better than the fucking, the Kayo Perico? Because the guards can't see the, like, this is why I think the Kayo is a little bit silly. So, the Kayo is the only heist in GTA, at least to my knowledge, I'm not sure if this is true. It's the only heist in GTA that they can spot the guards. The, the guards can spot bodies, which, yeah, it's realistic, but we also don't have a hide body mechanic. So, like, what am I supposed to do, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes I just feel obligated, like, I can't do nothing, like, and it's tough. And, I mean, it is what it is, but, I mean, fuck. You gotta do what you gotta do. But... You know, I'm about to 
uh, do some of those videos, some GTA videos, some uh, stuff I enjoy. Um, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Um, I'm not going to be uploading too many GTA videos, but I also kind of just want to get something. I, I don't know, I've been struggling real lot with uh, content creation because it's been hard. And I don't mean it's hard in like the sense of like just playing the games like that. Like I stream all the time. That's that's not the problem. It's getting clips for videos is super difficult. At least right now because of the way that Overwatch is. Um, which this is kind of why I'm trying to step away from. I'm trying to step away. I'm. Like, trying to more or less play other games and not have to only be reliant on Overwatch. Because I love Overwatch. But, like, I don't want to always play the newest patch of Overwatch. Because sometimes it gets really boring. Like, when we had the horse meta for, like, I think, what, two and a half months? That shit was boring. I stopped playing Overwatch 2. And then they just spiced it back up by adding the Roadhog rework and then now... Dead and Malgun, he's basically just like he ruined the game for like a good two weeks because they giga buffed him and they like absolutely nuked him. Like he was fine <clears throat> when they first released him, right? Like when they first did that patch note, they released the motherfucker and it wasn't super serious. But now, like. They, they went ahead and buffed him before launch for no reason. Because I guess he didn't feel good enough to play. But when they buffed him, they giga buffed him. <clears throat> so, and then they just buffed him and put him in, like, competitive and let him free. And it's just, fuck, man. It's annoying. I don't know. We'll see how everything goes. I'm, I'm still looking forward to a lot of stuff. Um, we got, <clears throat> I got, um. All of the Like a Dragon videos coming out um, at the end of January, which I'm really excited. I'm going to be streaming the whole game, um, as well as making clips and stuff for the the new game. Um, hopefully it doesn't tear our hearts apart, but it'll be okay. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry if I'm rambling, um, and also sorry for all of the like little throat clearing noises. Um, I'm sick right now. And so, um, I hope you guys did enjoy, um, obviously we're working on stuff, but stuff is hard, but we'll figure it out, guys, um, just please be patient, is all I ask, and, um, if you liked the video, like the video, um, if you want to subscribe, that would be sick, um, yeah, so I appreciate it, thank you for watching, this has been Brock, thank you.